I think there are a lot of points at which the legacy of Hermann Nietzsche and I intersect inevitably and also branch off. The context in which he lived was so specific and the ways in which he acted within that context has an extremely pertinent legacy as to how young artists today react to their environment, to their context. You know, the work of Nietzsche being so profoundly intertwined in a, in a literal sense with the body and with guts. The artistic gesture that comes from the body, whether that gets documented by painting, in music, in video, in sound, in sculpture, they can, they can live on past us. My work typically centers around um, very intense, very extreme sensations that have a very short lifespan um, inside of our system. Ecstasy, agony, a panic attack, an orgasm. And then seeing what happens if we augment those feelings and extend them over the course of 7, 12, 24 hours, multiple days. Fountain One was a piece that was about heartbreak. What happens to this plinth over time as these bodies gush their guts out, you end up with this effusive painting. And that was my little secret ode to Nietzsche's practice. I was thinking about the different sort of stages of these paintings, how they, how they come to be, and then when they're finally frozen in time, how far between the action of whipping something against the surface and it reaching its final form, like what, what happened in that little span of time. And so I decided to kind of make a poem of these bodies. As not only a person of my generation, but a, a black person of my generation and a queer person of my generation. I don't believe in the recreation of violence, um, in the adding of net violence in the world uh, through art. That desire to keep actual enacted pain to a minimum is, uh, is something that's actually quite, quite new. Being in dialogue with um, with this, you know, with this exhibition is an opportunity to highlight that, um, that evolution 